Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Um, so I want to chat to you, and I wanted to rant, rant, rant uh, about Pokemon Go tonight, but I'm not going to do that. I decided that that was probably going to be a very vain and shallow conversation. And vain and shallow conversations are never cool. So I still want to chat to you about Pokemon Go, but I want to explain to you why I have decided that I will not download the app. So I want to explain to you sort of the human condition that I see behind that and that I see in myself that would prevent me from downloading the app. Like I drew the line and said I'm not going to do it. But in the same breath, I want to say that I think this is probably the coolest thing since like sliced bread, the coolest thing since Gangnam Style is like who does not want to go all over the place and catch Pokemons. Um, so, so I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, I am going to, to read a passage from the Bible, speak about my faith and speak about my relationships because those are two things that are very important to me. So if you're a Christian, a high five, like, what's up? Um, I would encourage you to, to just dig into what I am about to share. And if you're asking questions around faith, I'd encourage you to just stick around and hear my opinion out about faith and about Pokemon Go in this whole human situation. So I'm going to read from Hebrews 12, it's going to be three short verses, and then I'm going to speak about them. So it's Hebrews 12, verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, this is the important part, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles us, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. So two main things that I want to get from that. Um, and no, you might be asking the question, well, Chris, are you saying this is sin? That's not what I'm saying. Um, I think we should clarify, I'm not isolating Pokemon Go as the only thing that people run to. One of the reasons why I won't download this app is because I know that it would be an escape for me. And humans have this natural tendency to want to escape from real life. So what that looks like for me is if I'm stressed out, I'd want to play the game. If I'm overworked, I'd want to play the game. If I'm bored, I'd want to play the game. And you see where I'm going with that, but that could look like series. That could be watching movies. That could be hanging out. Um, with people or building relationships that aren't necessarily healthy for you, that can be partying, that can be even escaping to academics. Um, and for me, it's a very real reality that downloading this game would so easily become an unhealthy escape. And this is saying, let us throw off anything that hinders us. The question that I want you to ask yourself and the question I'm asking myself is, is this helping me run my race of faith? Is this helping me fix my eyes on Jesus and run towards what he has got planned for me? And if I have to ask myself that question, there's so many things where I can go in my life. No, 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 no. And these might not be bad things in and of themselves, like watching series or hanging out with friends or playing apps and games every now and then just to relax can supplement your faith. It can supplement your relationships and really help you to relax. But there is a very real danger of those things becoming unhealthy escapes. So that is why I decided to draw the line in the sand. I'm not going to download the app. I'm not telling you don't play it. I'm telling you think about what is going on and think it. Like ask yourself these questions. Like think about what you're doing and whether or not this is adding value to your life. Ask yourself that question. Is playing this game or these things that I do, but especially with Pokemon Go being so crazy and all over the place, is this going to add value to my life? That's what I want to leave you with tonight. I hope that encourages you. If you watch the video until the end, like, what's up? Thank you. I appreciate the support. If you agree with me, I'd encourage you to share this video. Um, but overall, I hope that you enjoyed it. And thank you for the support. So nice and loud. Eee!